What is up ladies and gentlemen, it is yours truly Fit City. Welcome back to another video about Pokemon Go. We're gonna go over how to determine the best fast moves, quick moves, whatever you want to call it, in PvP. Now this is basically going to be like a tutorial, uh, because there are, I believe, some sweet spots for DPT and EPT that can determine your Pokemon choices. Because there's three factors that should determine your Pokemon choice in PvP. The quick move, the charge move, and the Pokemon stats. Those three things are the most important keys to your PvP success. So this video is going to cover fast moves. And what determines a good fast move? So like I said, basically a tutorial. First off, DPT means damage per turn. EPT is energy per turn. This is the most important part, but there are some trade-offs. So first off, let's sort by EPT since it's more important. Now as you can see, Mudshot, Psycho Cut, Thundershock have the highest energy per turn in PvP. These three moves are some of the three best quick moves in PvP. So you definitely want to choose a Pokemon that has this type of move. Now, already, how can you do that? Well, if you go to the Pokemon Go Hub database and search up Mudshot, it will pull up the move. So you go to the move, reload the page if you're on desktop, and you can see a list of Pokemon that can have or learn Mudshot. And then you can choose accordingly. So Sandslash, we'll click on Sandslash, and it will take us to Sandslash's move pool, but you also want to look at its stats as well. Um, and chances are it would be better in the Ultra League than the Great League. But Mudshot, again, is one of the best moves. So this is going to help you choose a ground type Pokemon or a Pokemon in general that has Mudshot because it has the highest overall EPT which is extremely important for charging up charge moves. Now remember I was mentioning something about a sweet spot? I do believe there's a sweet spot where we can draw the line for EPT in determining moves and it's right here. 3 attack or DPT I should say and 3 EPT. This is kind of where it draws the line I think. You don't really want a move that has lower EPT than 3, and you don't really want a move that deals lower damage than 3 as well. That's kind of the sweet spot, but of course, Fit City, what are you talking about? Some moves have a higher EPT and lower DPT, and then vice versa. How do you choose? Well, I'm glad you asked. First off and foremost, you should always focus EPT. Another thing is you should look at the move typings that you're trying to use. Like, Mudshot is by far the best ground quick move for PvP. Psycho Cut, is it the best actual PvP move for um, the Psychic typing? Well, that's where things get interesting, because if we sort by the name here, Confusion has a 4 damage, which did get buffed, and does a 3 EPT, which is uh, 1.5 less. But... What about the DPT for Psycho Cut? Psycho Cut's DPT was 1.5. The trade-off is massive. So that's one thing you gotta keep in mind. So, hmm, Confusion, it looks like overall it is a better move to have than Psycho Cut. Then that brings us back to the whole equation of, okay, if I don't want to run Psycho Cut, I want to run Confusion then you're going to want to look for Pokemon that have Confusion and fit your specific leagues, like Great League, uh, Alakazam, great for Master League, great for Ultra League, Mewtwo, obviously Ultra or Master League, um, Executor, Ultra or Master League, Gardevoir, Ultra or Master So you can start thinking like, hey, I know which Pokemon actually have this move, I want to use it for like Confusion for Psychic coverage, uh, deal super effective damage with psychic types so you can go over the list of Pokemon that have confusion since you want to use that move as your quick move instead of Psycho Cut. Now the same thing can be said about Psycho Cut as well. You could type in Psycho Cut here and find out what Pokemon have Psycho Cut and go from there. So do you see what I'm saying? Where I'm getting with this? You can look at the DPT and the EPT here and I'll link this uh, article in the description down below and kind of play with the numbers but I do strongly suggest that you look at the cutoff line here three and three that is an incredible cutoff line to go with three and three now some exceptions of course I was mentioning 
is some of the uh, damage per EPT trade-offs here. Like, uh, Waterfall has a damage of 4. Now, is there a, a move better than Waterfall that has a decent damage but good EPT? So, when we go up here, let's see. Nope, 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 nope. I don't see anything. Uh, charge Beam. Did I go past it? Nope. Dragon Tail, Poison Jab. So you can go over the move typings and see if there's anything better than that. Water Gun. I see I missed it. Waterfall has a 4 damage. 267 EPT. Water Gun is 3 and 3. The Sweet Zone. But, Waterfall, the trade-off is 1 damage. The EPT trade-off is 0.33. So is Water Gun better? Not necessarily. It comes down to what Pokemon you want to use, so you would look up Waterfall, you look up Water Gun, and then look at the charge moves and look at the stats. But this is just the first phase. There's a lot more into this than you actually could think of. So the fact that you quick moves should be the first thing you should look at is because it charges your charge moves up and it has a lot to do with the beginning of the battle. Because you're, you're doing quick move damage first, right? Trying to charge up your charge moves first, right? So EPT, definitely important. There can be some trade-offs. Um, Bubble. Check out Bubble. Bubble has a 3.67 EPT. Better than Water Gun, because Water Gun only did 3 damage. Uh, Waterfall did 4, but Waterfall's EPT was 2.67. This is up by 1, so Bubble is actually the best water quick move in the game. So, you don't want to use a Pokemon that can use Water Gun or Waterfall. If you can, find the Pokemon that can learn Bubble, and it's good for your respective league that you're trying to accomplish and winning in, you want to go with a Pokemon with Bubble, because it's the best water quick move in the game. Uh, same thing with Vine Whip. That 4 EPT. Is there a move that's better than Vine Whip, given the actual uh, stats here? Well, you could say Bullet Seed. No, you can't. It's worse. There's And there's no other grass move that has a better DPT with a better EPT. So Vine Whip is the best actual grass quick move in the game. As we go down here, there's no other competitors. Razor Leaf, for example, though, is interesting. Let's go ahead and look at that. Where'd it go? It has a, oh, it's not highlighted. It has a DPT of, yes, 6.5, but its EPT is two. Yes, it would be doing massive damage, but what for that doing very super effective damage? That's where the EPT comes in and Vine Whip is still doing 4, which is almost maxed. So you have to compare oranges to apples. You have to look at the statistics of the quick moves and go for what you're trying to do. Because another good example here is Thundershock. 1.5, but 4.5 EPT. But if you look at Spark here, it's got a little bit more damage and a little bit less EPT. So if you're trying to deal a little bit more damage but still have a good EPT, go with Spark, because Spark's actually a pretty good move. Now, Charge Beam is worse in damage of both of them, and also 3.67 EPT. So if you're trying to do uh, an electric move, you want to go with Thundershock or Spark, not Charge Beam. So you have to compare what your options are, look at the moves, see what Pokemon are available for those moves, Quick moves are very important, and you should also compare the move statistics and what Pokemon can learn which move. This is basically a guideline, a basis of figuring out how to build your teams. You can build your teams around the moves, and the stats will fall in place because you'll be able to look at that as well. So this, again, this is just a quick guide of how you can build your team using fast moves, then I'll do charge moves, then we'll look over overall stats. So there's this could be a three part series. I just want to cover the fast moves and show you guys how things stack up, how other water moves stack up with other water moves. I just went over the electric moves, why you would choose one over the other, and then look up the Pokemon that can learn that move and then go from there. So quick moves, it's gonna be this video obviously, then we'll do charge moves, and then we'll go over overall stats which will pretty much put it all together. So there you guys have it. Let me know what you guys think. How do you choose your quick moves? Do you go by the general rule of best EPT, then look at the damage? Do you compare typings like I did, uh, Thundershock with Spark and Charge Beam? Do you look at the Pokemon associated with those moves? Let me know what you guys do in the comment section down below. Smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Be a part of the Fit City fam. That's it with the boy Fit City. I'm signing off. See you guys in the next Pokemon Go video.